Hi, Steve here again with another clip taken from my upcoming Photoshop 101 video course, which is coming out next Thursday. This clip shows you some cool features found inside the crop tool, which can help you fit and align your images to certain compositional rules and guidelines. And it's something that I've found really useful since I discovered it. So uh, yeah, here it is. Now, one more thing that I want to show you in the crop tool is something that for some reason I only discovered pretty late on. And since I did, it's actually become one of my favorite features of the crop tool. And that is that there are some different guides, different compositional guides that we can use in this tool. Now, as soon as you start moving these, uh, these handles here, you can see that we've got this uh, rule of thirds guide. So we've got these two lines going horizontal and two vertical lines. So that's kind of like a compositional aid so that when we're cropping, we can see how our image fits into this particular compositional rule. But hidden away under this little icon here are some uh, alternative compositional guides. Now we can cycle through them just using the menu here, but what you can also do is use the, uh, the overlay or cycle overlay shortcut, which is O. And then I'll show you also the cycle orientation, which is shift O. So let's just press O on the keyboard and we can see that's gone to a grid, which is, is fine. Not much use really, apart from just getting things lined up nicely. This one here, we've got these diagonal lines. So um, yeah, that's another, another compositional tool where you can line up your objects within your frame to, uh, to meet certain points or to be uh, lined up against certain, certain lines in this grid. And then press O again, and then we've got this other compositional guide here. So we can see like if we had an image where we've got interesting parts of the image on these points where the, the lines intersect, then that in theory is a you know, decent composition potentially. And if I press shift O now, because this is not a symmetrical, um, it's not a symmetrical guide. If I press shift O, we can see what happens there and that kind of flips it over and cycles between those two versions. So that's that. And then next, if I press O again, we can see this is the golden ratio. So similar to rule of thirds, but the lines are slightly closer towards the middle. So if you've got a shot where there's a horizon, you can, you know, you can put the horizon on either one of these lines in a similar way as you would with the rule of thirds. And you can also put your um, focal points, your interesting parts of your image on these intersecting lines. And if I press O once more, this is actually one of my favorite new, uh, well, since I discovered it a little while ago, this is one of my favorite tools, which uh, is again, it's the, um, to do with the golden ratio, it's linked, but it's a golden spiral. And if I press shift O to just cycle between a couple of those different alternatives here, we've got this, this is the more traditional golden spiral here. And then it sort of changes to this funny squashed version. Uh, I'll just cycle through again. So this is the uh, this is the kind of standard one. So the idea here is it's like that that shell shape, and if you have sweeping lines or leading lines in your shot that kind of follow this, and then it all focuses towards the main subject of an image, which uh, sort of falls around this area, then that's something else that you can use as a guide to crop your image. Let's just see if I can. Uh, let's just see what happens if I start adjusting this now. Let's just move that down here. So, okay, this, this works quite well. It's quite interesting actually. So we've got this, this line coming across here and it kind of uh, touches the tops of each of these buildings. And that's quite nice. I was a bit lucky actually. I didn't prepare this image specifically, but um, yeah, so we can see these, this line, it kind of crosses the tops of these buildings comes down here around the edge. And then as we come around to the middle of this uh, spiral, then we've got this tree here, which is the main focal point. So if I press return or enter to set that crop there now, then uh, yeah, in theory, this new composition that I've just created with the crop tool, 
that kind of uh, fits into that um, to that golden spiral. Now, you know, maybe not the best example, but it's it's not too bad. I think you know it's not immediately obvious that this tree is the main uh, compositional um, focus, but you know, just having these objects along that line and then in the middle of that spiral just kind of helps to make a nice evenly balanced shot, I think. All right, I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. If you like shooting landscapes and you want to learn how to put all these individual tips and techniques that you're learning into a structured six step Photoshop workflow, then click the download button and I'll send you my free PDF cheat sheet that lays everything out for you step by step.